Hey everyone, Perfect Cop here, and welcome back to another video. I can't do it, you know, the clap, but, um, today is a very exciting vlog, and it's not an ordinary vlog. Now, I was gonna do a short little vlog telling you about what was happening, but I, went, I was doing things yesterday, and I went relaxed and chill by the pool. Um, but we got, we got some big news today. We're going to Jacksepticeye's How Did We Get Here live show. Um, it's the one in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, it was the closest one that we could get to where I'm from. Um, well, we're in the U.S., but it was like the closest part of the state that we're, we stay at <clears throat> that we could get to. Uh, it take us about five, six hours to get there. Um, but we're going to the one in Nashville, and um, I'm super duper excited because me and Robert, we've grown up with this guy for like the past four or five-ish years, and um, I didn't want to tell you guys what we were doing because every single time I make a video, I promise that I'm going to do something like I'm going to do a trailer breakdown, I'm going to do a... A reaction to this, a reaction to that, or I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some kind of event on YouTube, and I never do it. So I didn't want to keep you guys saying like we're gonna go to the show because the tickets you had to either print out or you had to take your phone that was linked up to the email. And my mom did the tickets, so we just printed them out yesterday, and we were like, yes, because if we didn't print out the tickets, we probably would not get to go to the show. So I didn't want to tell you guys that, and then we miss out on opportunity. Um, yeah, he's gonna be. Well, all I know about it is that it's a comedy show. He brings up people onto the stage to play some games a little bit. I think he does a short q and A. I I haven't seen a full video of the live show because I don't think you're supposed to record in there. Um, I don't think you're supposed to record the show at all. But all I've heard is that that is it. And they don't want to show anything because they don't... Jag doesn't want to ruin the show. This He thinks it's a show that everyone should come to watch and you should experience it for yourself, which I think is good. Be all means do that. And me and my, uh, me and Robert have fell in love with this guy for the past few years. And I told him I would take him to PAX one day. It's Robert's dream to go to Ireland because he's he's part Irish. And I told Robert I said we're not gonna go see Jack in Ireland. That's not why I'm taking you. We're just gonna go see what your heritage is like and see what like different Irish culture things is. And then Jack moved away, and I said we would still go there. Um, and I didn't promise him that I would get I would get him to meet Jack. It's my dream. It's one of my dreams. That I would get to meet him with Robert, um, but then I heard that he came back from part uh, he came back home from part one of the tour, and then he announced he was going on part two, and I was like, okay, so now that means more vlogs and stuff, and I was like, maybe we could go see a chance to get like close tickets to like another state or something um, closer to, to us, and then he said Canada, and I was like, oh, he's not coming towards us, and then he said Louisiana, Detroit, I think, and then he said Nashville, and then I had to be sure because I was like, oh. If he's talking about the one that's in Tennessee, we can go to it because it's about um, it's about five six hour like drive. I can't remember. It's about it's about five six hours to get there, and I was like, yes, we can we can go. Um, it won't take us that long. So I went to the website just to be sure, and I got super excited. I was like, okay, tickets are gonna go sale in about a week or so. Let's get ready. So we got three tickets: one's for me, Robert, and our dad. Well, my dad. Not his dad. Um, but we're going to go see him. I feel kind of bad because I wish I'd made something for him. Like a merch or... Not merch, but like a piece of art. Or like bought him some, I don't know. I feel kind of bad. But I know how Jack is. He's very generous and kind about people. How they give him stuff. And he wishes sometimes that they didn't give him a lot of stuff. Because he feels like he doesn't deserve it. Um, but yeah, we're going to go. I'm going to try to film as much as possible. I don't know if I'll be able to show anything when we get to the actual show. Um... But I'm going to be, like, posting on Instagram, like, stories and pictures of us. And, um, I've heard some really good things about Nashville. And I haven't really visited before. So I want to get a chance to go and get that kind of experience to go see it. Because if it, I love going to different cities and towns. Because whenever I see it, I'm like, I want to go back to here one day. Not just because of, like, the sights and everything. It's about, like, the food and, like, the culture I expect to it and, like, Maybe stores and stuff. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna try to go. I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can and show you guys our reaction because, like, this could this could be our only chance to actually see Jack in live action, not just in front of a screen doing editing. Like, we'll get to see him like do flaws and make up like silly jokes and like feel that kind of awkwardness that we don't get really on screen that much. Um, and this could be our like one time to actually meet him, but physically not meet him, if that makes any sense. But yeah. I hope you all do enjoy this um, kind of like little vlog, and um, I hope um, hope the show's really good. I know it's gonna be funny. Um, I just hope it's the night to just remember. So 
Hope y'all do enjoy this and let's go. such a good show like I wanted to record the whole thing so then when I was like an adult and like if I forgot about Jack or any type any kind of thing where I was like I want to look back on some memories I could have watched it but the people at the at the um at the show were like yeah, there's no film photography there's none of that and then Jack was like we'll do one photo bomb and I, th I think he did it for all the other shows because if he did it just for us I think that'd be kind of unfair so I think that everyone around the entire like shows um We'll get one photo ball when they can do one thing. You'll you either can record a video, or you can take a picture or something. Um, but while I was there, me and Robert got some merch. Uh, I think they were selling Sam plushies, but I think they sold out. They 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 had the the keychain one, the very small one. Then they had the medium regular size one. And I think they had the jump one. I saw a few people carrying them in like plastic bags. So either people brought them just to like throw up in the air and like just wave whenever a jag was coming by. Either that or they just sold out. Um, I'm gonna go to the merch store one day and just get one. Uh, but while I was there, me and Robert got a pin. A, uh, Jack Septic Eye, well, Septic Sam pin. I'll get closer. Hey, Sam. Um, and then I got the shirt I was, I'm wearing right now. It also has Sam on it. Oh, hold up, Isaac. Um, and it says the, uh, the show's, uh, name. How did we get here? Um, which was it? Oh, which is really cool because it was it the show was a little bit different than i thought because jack said in his tour vlogs that it, the show was about like how he became who he is now and it also was to explain like how did he get here and the final thing i got was a poster of all the places and all the dates and all the theaters that he went to and it also has a logo it says jack except guy presents um and i don't want to make this super long I was going to plan out to record a little bit longer and show you guys a little bit about the show, unless you guys couldn't. But that's one of the other reasons that Jack doesn't want people to record the entire show. He wants people to experience the show for their own. They want He wants people to see it. And it's not just because he, he doesn't want money. It's not because, oh, he wants your money so you can't, you can't go to this event just so you can watch it and experience it. No, he's not trying to blackmail you. He just wants everyone to experience this for yourself. And he's not over yet. Um, he's planning to do this for the rest of the year, going up to, like, the... He's not, I don't think he's going around the entire world, but he's supposed to go to, he's supposed to go all around the U.S. And then make his way back over to England. Um, it would be pretty cool if he did get to go around the world. Maybe he'll try that next year or something. That would be really cool, because I haven't, I haven't watched a YouTuber that's gone on tour and made its way around the entire world. But, hopefully he'll, he can do that one day, because that would be a good accomplishment. But, I wanted to talk about the show just a little bit, and not try to spoil it off for all. It, 
it was me, my my dad, and Robert that got to go. And my dad has zero who Jack is. He doesn't know who Jack is. And he knows all about YouTube and stuff. He knows some of the YouTubers um, that me and my brother and family watch. But he comes in here occasionally just to say goodnight to me. And then I'll have, like, Jack or I'll have someone on. And then he's like, who is that? Who is that? And then my mom and her sister, which is my aunt, whenever they hear the F word, they usually know it's Jack. So every time me and Robert watch him together, we... We always get turned. We always get told to turn off. But I don't get that. My mom was okay. Let me watch Chris Ford videos back then. So I don't know why she has it now. It, it's weird. But anyway, we went in and everyone was screaming this. Someone say my from like Nemo the Mo the the seagulls that would say my my. It started off that and then everyone went to boy from God of War. You know, Kratos kept calling Atreus boy boy every like five seconds during the game. And then occasionally he calls him Atreus or son, but most of the time he called him boy. Uh, so everyone was like screaming out, boy! And then Jack came out and he's like, can we get a... Me and Robert were joking around, we were saying like, what if he came out and said, ladies and boys? That would... We were both just joking around. And then he came out and did somewhat of a version of that, um, which was really cool. And then I like that he incorporated some of the old jokes that he used to make in his series. Um, but it's crazy. I, like some of the things that he said during the show I knew of. Except for, like, an event that happens in where he was, where he was living during the time. It was, like, when he lived in Ir when he lived in Ireland, they had this tradition of religious... I'm not going to tell you what it was, because I want you guys to ex uh, experience it. But that was the only one thing I did not know. I knew pretty much everything else that he said, like, where he came from, what, how he got the name Septic Eye, how he got the name Jack, how um, that he used to climb up a tree and swing off a rope on it like he was Spider-Man. Basically, I knew kind of all the things that he was saying, but I still had a really good time, because I got to... I got to enjoy it, see him in live action, and new, learn one new thing about him. But what was so cool was, is that we always sit down and we either watch a movie, we watch a TV show, or we watch a YouTube video. And then when we go out there and we see who the people really are, like actors or the video, the YouTubers, you get to experience them and see similar how similar they kind of are to their their at, their attention on our screens. Um, and some actors are kind of they're not always like their characters that they portray, but like. Jack, uh, Sean, he was just like he always is. He was optimistic, he was energetic, he was funny, and he was just so involved with everyone. And as we were, because me and Robert wanted to go get merch before the show, but then they had a line saying, like, here's an easier way if you're here just to get merch and you're here to get in, here's the line for that, and here's people that just want to get inside and sit down. Here we go. So we got in that line and we were like, we're going to get merch after. So then after the show exited, we had to wait in the line for about 40, 30 minutes. Um, it went from down, they were selling them downstairs and upstairs, so we went around looking down at the lobby. Apparently it closed down, um, otherwise millions of people would have stayed behind there. Uh, so we had to go upstairs, and that took about 30 minutes. Then we saw, like, we heard people's conversation talking about them, and me and Robert had our conversation about the show. So we got to the table, and then we actually saw, like, the, um, like, there was this big box with, like, all the merch and stuff that people had made them, fan art, things that they had built for him, made for him, bought him. And, um, I went on to my Instagram stories and just watched him, like, take a picture after minute, after minute, after minute. And I was like, dang, he's, like, right behind that door over there. All we gotta do is just climb over the table. No. Um, but what was so cool was, like, I know that he was gonna play video games. Like, he said he was gonna call people up to the stage, play some games with them. But they, they ended up playing Pokemon Blue, I think. Um, then they played, um, Shot of the Colossus, the remastered version for the PS4. Um, I kind of already knew that because I saw vlogs about it. Then they played Happy Wheels or Happy Wheels. No, I can't do it. Um, which was really cool. And then everyone was like, screw you, Billy. And it was just, everyone was so involved with the show. And it just felt like we were all in one big video together. It didn't feel like we were off screen. It didn't feel like we were in the screen. It felt like we were all on the same page around the exact same time. Um, all the people that got caught up to the stage, they were given like a Irish hat that he used to wear during his old videos. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about, before I end this, I want to talk about, like, how, like, Jack, like, has, like, made me as a better person, because, like, during, when I first watched Jack, I had the same reaction that everyone did. I was like, who's the screaming Irish guy? Like, what the heck? And then, I kind of distanced myself away from him. Then I came back to him at, towards the end, like, I can't remember, when was Until Dawn, when did Until Dawn come out? It was around, like, when he started his Until Dawn series is when I started to watch him again. Um, and then I've been watching him ever since then. And, um, he's, 
He became my second favorite YouTuber. Now he's my favorite. Now my first favorite was Stampy, but I'm not really much in Minecraft anymore. I, play, I still play it, but like I'm not involved with that as much anymore. So I watch more of Jack and like people like him. Um, but then like he kind of helped me through like my anxiety and depression and my suicidal thoughts. Um, people were screaming PMA, which my dad was like, most of the things that were happening in the show he did not know. Uh, PMA stands for Positive Mental Attitude, which he did a charity event for, uh, for like, not too long ago, uh, before he went on tour, and everyone was a part of it. Uh, well, not everyone, but the community was a part of the event, and Jack just helped me a lot, like, embrace who I want to be, and then towards the end of the show, he got really inspirational for me. Um, I don't know about everyone else in the room. Probably some people got inspired, but for me... He, he said that copying people or, like, imitating them, intim not intimidating them, but posing as, like, let's say, I, like, people thought I was copying Jack. I was saying tippity top instead of top of the morning. No, I did that off some random video I was watching. I never did that from Jack. I was never trying to do that. I was just saying something that I heard funny off another video. Um, but... He said you don't always need to copy someone. It's never good. You need to find yourself... Out of you finding, like, he says, like, you need to step out of your comfort. If you have a dream, go chase it, go look for it. And he, he, he did YouTube impressions when he very first started YouTube. And then he went on to finding out his stuff. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to be like everyone else. I'm going to be my own self. I, I don't think there's any YouTubers that are like me that's super energetic, happiness all the time. Well, he's not always happy all the time, but you know what I mean. But, like, he was like, I'm going to be like the hyper... Irish dude, and then he did that, he did that, and then he made a, a name for himself, so he's like, if you want to do something with your life, then go chase that dream, be that person, just be yourself, and it's kind of helping me right now, like, build up my confidence for what I want to be, which is like a film director, you all know that, but, yeah, it's just crazy, because I told Robert, I said, I'm going to take you to Ireland one day, because we found that he was part Irish not too long ago, like a year, and then he went crazy about it dyed his hair green and everything like Jack. And then he, like, started buying, like, a million Irish things. He's, like, following, like, Irish news now. I don't know. He's crazy. He's, Robert's crazy about Irish things now. So then I told him we're not going to go see Jack because it's probably never going to happen, but we will go just to explore your heritage a little bit. We'll find out, like, like where the Irish people came from. Like, what, like where did that culture and community come from? And we'll, we'll go there one day. We'll spend, like, about two, three, maybe two, or maybe a week or two there. And then he told me that Jack, well, me and him kind of figured this out by watching the videos, that Jack moved to the UK, and then he said, could we got to go meet him there? I'm like, Robert, we're not going to go meet him. And Robert's not like a young kid that was like, yeah, I want to go follow this person every, everywhere. No, 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 Robert's not like that. He was just like, did you know that Jack moved away now we can't move? I'm like, yeah, but we're not going to Ireland to meet him. I'm just saying we could meet him one day. Never going to happen. But then um, I said, I'm going to go to the UK one day just so I can see um, Big Ben, like the... I, I want to go to London for multiple different reasons. Um, Big Ben being, like, the, the number one thing on my list. But, um, then he went on part one of the tour. I was like, cool. He got to go to the uh, United States, and he got to explore things that he never want, that he's all, that he's always wanted to do. Um, and then I saw part two. He said, we're not done. We're going to part two now. And then I heard him say all the things, and then he said, one of the places, Nashville, which is, like, few hours from, like, where I live, not, like, about, like, I don't know, 10, 12 hours, I, I, I can't remember, well, it's about, yeah, about 10, 11 hours from here, so, he said, um, I heard that, I was like, no way, he's not talking about Nashville, so then I went onto the website, found it, and then I was like, oh my gosh, she's coming, so we can go, we, that's the closest day we think we can go, um, because when I, I can't remember what, what happened, I went out of town for a few weeks, and then I came back, and, like, I learned Robert's, like, oh, we could have gone to the show. It was, like, a state away from us. I'm, like, God. And it was just, like, two days after I got back. So I was, like, dang it, we should have done that. So then I heard Nashville was on the next list. I was, like, yeah, we're going to go. We, it's about ten hours from here. Let's go. So we got our tickets immediately. Um, and then we got nervous because we had to find out that you had to print your tickets. Or you have to, you could bring your electronic device. But my mom's the one that got the tickets, so we would have to take her phone to things. So we were, like, no. So we were sitting there Saturday, the day before the tour, just waiting for the printer to print out our tickets, and my mom was worried. But 
thankfully they all came out. It was simple enough. It just said boop, boop, boop. And we just printed them out. So, all in all, it was really good. And I've always wanted to, I've always wanted to visit Nashville before. I've heard really good things about it. And I, I'm going to go back one day. It's like a miniature version of New York. Like, I've been to New York. I've been, I've been to Washington. But Nashville is kind of similar to New York in a little bit. It's grounded. There's taxers. There's Ubers. There's uh, Lyft drivers. There's cool places to eat. There's exciting things to do. Uh, there's a million things to do. So much to do. No. Um, but, yeah, there's a million things there. And it was like a miniature version of New York. And I, I kind of felt home and I kind of felt far away at the same time. But all in all, this show was really funny, really good, and it was the closest thing that me and Robert got to do to meet Jack, because we were like, we're not, we're not going to meet him face-to-face -face physical, but we're actually going to see him physically, like, there. So, I'll try my best to do, like, incorporate as much as I can. I might go onto YouTube and see if I can find different other videos. I just don't want to get in trouble. I just don't, uh, I just don't want to get too many copyright strikes, as I've, I've done in the past, and I haven't had a copyright strike, and I don't want that to happen. But all in all... Um, today was his final day. Um, it's a few days after the one, the event in Nashville. It's the uh, one at Upton Theater in Kansas City. Um, it's the sixth right now, June sixth. So all in all, I hope everyone had a good job. Uh, had a good job. I hope everyone had fun and an exciting trip when they went on their different tours. Uh, when they went to these different theaters and had different show experiences. Hopefully they were a little bit different. I just don't want. I I, I would hate that like every single show is the exact same. Um, because I like to hear Jack's feedback on everything, and he, he had some really good positive things about what he said about Nashville, Tennessee, so I was like, yay, we, we, we rock, so, um, which is what Tennessee's known for, it's rock, a little bit, not the rock and roll, but you know, you know what I mean, you country folks, um, yeah, anyway, I hope you all did enjoy this vlog, it was kind of short, like I said, it was going to be, it wasn't going to be anything too specular, and I hope I didn't do as much talking as I've done already, but, um, I can't wait to hear what everyone says about the vlog, and um, I can't wait to hear people's feedback about other places that he goes to, and I hope one day that I could meet Jack, I would love to, absolutely, but it's probably never going to happen, unless I get in the film business, I'm like, yo, Sean, you want to come over being this part of this movie? It involves Spider-Man, no. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue to watch more Jack later, he scream his head off, and um, it was a really fun experience, and I would love to do this again with another YouTuber. Um, not many of the people I watch on YouTube do mini tours. Um, they do meet up sometimes. People get in contact with them. They're like, hey, we'll do this event. We'll pay for it all. You want to do it? Um, but I'm just glad I got to go, go to, like, my first tour. Not my first tour, but, like, you all know what I mean I'm talking about. I got to go to my first, like, YouTuber convention tour. And I would love to go to PAX one day and, like, and ask a question. I've got two questions I really want to ask him. Um, but overall, it was a really good show, really good event, and it will be, like, in my heart, and I will remember it for all my days until I die. So, yeah, hope you all did enjoy my, this vlog. There will be more vlogs coming up really, really soon. I can guarantee you that. It'll be me going on vacation. So, yeah, tune in for those. Uh, gaming videos and, like, normal videos won't be happening regularly while I'm on vacation. You know, I need it. Um, but new gaming videos are coming up. Live watching movie, uh, watching movies live with you guys coming up soon. Uh, doing live streaming like just Q and A and video games coming up soon, and then more behind the scenes of Lego the Spider Man. And then we should get our first teaser very soon, so get ready for that. Uh, but yeah, hope y'all did enjoy this vlog. Let me know what you guys think. But without further ado, thank you guys for so much for watching this video. If you like the explode button, like a creeper, love this is the amazing comments, guys. If this happened for your first video, with me to do subscribe and join the cup today. So, so, so much more. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good. Bye. And we'll always imagine bigger.